Welcome into Drew's Daily Diamond for Monday, October 7th, 2024. I am Drew Martin breaking down the slate of games. We got Monday night football in the NFL, two MLB playoff games coming your way here, guys. Red hot weekend, man, on fire. Straight sweep of the board on Sunday, 3-0, 4-0 on Saturday, and also 3-1 on Friday, guys. So we got 7-0 and 10-1 and runs going since Friday, plus 8.9 units. Hey, if you've been cashing some tickets with me, go ahead and do me a favor, man. Uh, Comment below. It helps out the algorithm. Looking to grow the show. Where you agree, where you disagree, anything is welcome. Uh, Smash that like button if you're liking the content. All right, guys, let's get into it. It's not about the past. It's about what we can do tonight. NFL on ESPN, 815 Eastern, 515 Pacific. It is the New Orleans Saints in the Kansas City Chiefs. Chiefs, minus five, minus five and a half as the home favorite. 43, 43 and a hook being the total. New Orleans comes in two and two on the season. Two blowout wins, two close losses. The Chiefs come in two-time defending Super Bowl champions. Four and oh out the gate this season. Although if you're looking to poke holes, all of their wins were just by uh, one score, you know, less than seven points. They are coming into this one a little bit banged up. The wide receiver position, both Rice and Hollywood Brown going to be out. Running back Pacheco, he's banged up. On the New Orleans side of things, uh, they're dealing with some injuries as well. Taysom Hill, um, their center and guard combination on the offensive line. There's questions there. They did call up some uh, offensive linemen from the practice squad. But when you're calling up practice squad guys and you're going up against, you know, the, the Chiefs defensive tackle Chris Jones, I don't know if I like that matchup too much for the Saints uh, offensive line. On the defensive side of things, the Saints defense didn't allow a touchdown last week. If you're just going by the final score, you got to remember the Falcons scored two defensive touchdowns last week. So um, their defense playing very well. Actually, both defenses really out the gate this season. Both of these two defenses giving up 18 points or less on average. So. Two of the top defenses in the NFL, we get both offenses. Guys, I I know we look at the Saints and the Chiefs and we think, man, there's going to be points here. I just don't think so. I I, I really don't. I think points are going to be at a premium. I think both defenses come in as the superior units and in in comparison to their own offenses. And due to the injuries, I, I like this matchup on the defensive side. I really do. So there's a 43 and a hook out there. Let's go towards the under here, guys, and got got, got kind of last trend for you here. Got this from the gold sheet. Kansas City is on a 5-16 and 16 under run in Arrowhead. Think about that. The last 21 games, only five overs at home. Hey, I think we get another under here, guys. Under 43 in the hook, Saints and Chiefs, Monday Night Football. All right, let's head to the diamond. Up next, MLB playoff game, Detroit Tigers. Cleveland Guardians. We are seeing the Guardians go with Matt Boyd, the lefty, up against Tyreek Skubal going for the Tigers. Battle of Southpaws here. Tigers, minus 121 road favorites, total of six. It's actually as high as minus 130, a little opinion in the marketplace. 408 Eastern, a little early start here on TBS. Skubal on the hill, Cy Young. He went six innings in game one of the first the first series against the Houston Astros, six scoreless in- innings. Interesting that he needed only 15 pitches to get through the first two innings. So he got six outs, only 15 pitches there. And he's carrying a 13 straight scoreless inning run into tonight's matchup. Just two earned runs his last 24 innings overall. So talk about uh, riding a hot left hand here. He's got it, the Detroit starter. He also went 1-0 and against Cleveland during the season, a, a mid-season start against him, seven innings, one earned. Dig up 10 hits, a little bit of a question mark there. He's up against Matt Boyd here, late start to the season, not a huge sample size, solid numbers though. He did have six walks his last two starts. That can come back to haunt him. Also, he's, he's facing his old team. You know, he played for the Tigers last year and then uh, signed with Cleveland here. So that, that's kind of an interesting note as well. Really, guys, it comes down to Cleveland's up 1-0 into the series. But Detroit got here because of their starting pitching and their bullpen. This is the best bullpen in baseball by my metrics. They threw the most innings by any bullpen. So, like, they've really carried themselves in these, these late-inning arms. So coming behind Scooble, when he's on the hill, I'm looking to bet on the Tigers, guys. 
We're going to go on them. Minus 121. That's the low water mark here. It's the Detroit Tigers over the Cleveland Guardians. One game left here, guys. A reminder, if you could comment below, it helps out. It helps grow the show, helps the algorithm. Smash that like button if you're liking the content. Premium picks, three for one up. Uh, some of these picks in there, guys. So, uh, you know, you, you get bonus for uh, for watching it. So the client play is coming to you as well. But, hey, if you're interested in that, we do have the uh, the season-long packages. You can actually get a special here through the end of the, the calendar year. Drew Martin, experts page, wagertalk.com. All right, last game on the board here, 738 on TBS. And it's the it's last MLB game. There, there still is the Monday night football game. Kansas City Royals, New York Yankees. Reagan's on the hill for the Royals. Carlos Rodon going for the Bronx Bombers. Battle of Southpaws again. All lefty starters here tonight, guys. Yankees, minus 144 to as high as minus 155. As I'm talking in the overnight market right now it's 11 o'clock pacific time seven and a half being the total reagan's comes in the, the kansas city starter six scoreless innings in game one of the wild card series he did leave due to cramping um he, he probably was going to go longer so we'll see what's up with that but one stat i don't like with reagan's is he's over 50 innings more this season than any year in his career before. So like the innings are really starting to pile up on his arm. And sure enough, in the month of September, his walks were up and his strikeouts were down. He's a guy, I I mean, look, he's had a great year overall. Just look at the numbers, but now going up against this Yankees lineup, you know, by a lot of metrics, the number one lineup in baseball, top five by most of them. I think he could have trouble here. I mean, obviously runs at a premium in in playoff baseball. I like the Yankees lineup a little bit more, and we get Carlos Rodon on the hill. He has a a, a great great number since the turn of September. You know, since the start of September, he added a change up, and sure enough, you know his numbers of recent are really good. Plus, he had two starts against the Royals. He went six innings and seven innings, giving up two and one earned run respectfully in those starts. Also a 12 to one strikeout to walk ratio, like that ratio from him. So, hey, listing Rodon, we bet on him a bunch down the down the stretch of the regular season if you watch the show with some success here. And the low watermark is minus 144, so laying the 44 cents on the Yankees, that's the way we're going, guys. Both favorites here, uh, the Detroit Tigers and the New York Yankees, listing both of the pitchers, Rodon and Scooble. And then for the Monday night football game, we are on the under 43 and a hook. So that's going to do it for Monday edition, Drew's Daily Diamond, football and baseball. Tomorrow we got college football coming and the MLB playoffs again, guys. So uh, come back and join us. Smash that like button, comment below. Let's cash these tickets.